It all began one dreadful day. Hey, ho ho Hosu. That day, I thanked Haas for following. Thanks for following. I quickly learned what Haas really was after getting followed by a second Haas that stream. I had thanked a bot. Thanks for following. following. The shame, the indignation, I will never forget. My reaction a couple weeks later was quite different. Oh my god, it's Haas. Who is Haas? Right, that is the question. Haas is someone my chat worships, even though I tell them to stop worshipping Haas, because Haas is there to cause trouble, okay? Bloop. Haas keeps coming back. I ban Haas, Haas? and Haas comes back with like more- uh -huh. Darn you, Haas. I won't lose. So I decided to do some research because we know a good dev does good research. I came across this meme, which is honestly hilarious, but what was the most interesting thing? What was most interesting was what was under this. I learned about the lore of Haas. Judge Judy Slayer, that name was familiar. That was another follower I had gone recently. That's a bot too? A very interesting comment. There's a streamer who's called Judge Judy Slayer with a Ellen Slayer that's a friend of the real Haas00312, the streamer who is being defamed by the bot makers. There's also a bot that's called Judge Judy Sire with a capital I in Slayer. Even the real Judge Judy Slayer commented here in the Reddit, Hi, I'm the real actual human Judge Judy Slayer. I'm sorry everyone is dealing with this. Myself and my friend Haas are really at ends with what to do. Please be careful. What's the problem with these bots? These bots post links in the chat and if you click the links, they can grab your IP and even maybe dox you. So everyone knows, Judge Judy Slayer is a real streamer who has not streamed for a year. The bot uses a capital I. The original Haas is apparently a streamer, but he's not behind the bot. Someone is trying to make him look bad by causing all this- I messaged the actual Judge Judy Slayer on Twitter who's tweeting a lot back and forth to Haas. What is going on here? They were tweeting about this botting stuff. I ended up DMing him to say that this guy follow me, it's not you, you're being impersonated, which caused him to say no, they're targeting us. Apparently they used to have a little streamer group where they were all friends and then booted someone out and then that person might have something to do with the bot. Mm, it's a sad situation, seems like this whole thing may be just driven by drama. But anyway, that's the dramatic backstory and lore behind these hotspots. And since they don't seem to be going away anytime soon, let's do something about it ourselves. So I made a new Unity project and copied over the Twitch lib code from my broken VTuber app. Then I added a host check here. Basically what this does is check if a chatter has Haas in its name and it'll ban the chatter right away. So no malicious links will be posted. I wanted to do multiple checks and someone mentioned using a regex. I honestly don't know the best way. So if someone knows, please tell me in the comments. After all this was done, I just built the project into a blank black window. Hello, Haas. Huh? And I also made sure to add the hotspot check functionality to my follower event as well. So it bans followers who are hosses. And then all there was to do was wait. I'm good, how about you? Oh! Oh, Hoss, 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 Hoss! Hoss! Okay, I've been waiting for Hoss. Okay, okay. Did Hoss get banned? I have to check if Hoss got banned, because then my thing worked. It worked! Hoss got banned! Do you see my chat? Oh my gosh, I'm a genius! <laughs> I'm doing great now, Eevee, especially after seeing Hoss get banned immediately. Like, I am so... I am so freaking proud of myself. Before I end the video, I just wanted to say that there's a way more effective way to deal with these bots than by making an entire Unity project. And actually, a fellow streamer, FiresBZ, um, made a script for his bot, which can take care of the Huss bots really effectively. Fires was kind enough to share with me the script he wrote 
for banning the hosses using Node.js. And it seems like a much more effective way than creating an entire Unity project. So for those of you who want to do this effectively, please look into Node.js and you can use um, Fire's code as reference. Some of these names are absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Big Hossman got me so hard. <laughs> There's Hoss Inferno. <laughs> There's even Hoss Sheeshers. Sheeshers. Yeah, someone definitely had too much time on their hands. Hooray! So the plan was a success. Now I can use Fire's Pop to get rid of Hosses and still trigger something interesting to happen when a hoss follows me in my unity project. If you got any ideas of what would be fun to get back at hoss, please let me know.